Tonight, I'm gonna to show you five kitchen organization projects that you can make yourself. If you're looking for a way to make your kitchen more functional, I gotcha. We recently remodeled our kitchen, which forced us to reorganize everything and rethink where it all should go. The first organization project I did was a custom fit silverware organizer. Now you can buy lots of the generic silverware organizers on Amazon or other places, but they don't ever really fit in your drawer exactly. And they slide around. I made mine from quarter inch red oak from the big box stores because it's a harder wood and won't get chewed up over time like the quarter inch poplar will. After figuring out the layout and marking everything, I cut dados into each piece and glued the dividers together with CA glue. This will give you redundancy in your design, so the glue isn't the only thing holding the dividers in place. I've made these organizers in the past out of poplar, and I found that the knives and the forks really start digging into the wood and chewing it up over time. For the sharper steak knives, I made a design that stored them safely, but was still easy to get the knives in and out of. For the larger utensils, I made a different organizer and the next row over using the same methods and the same type of wood to keep them organized as well. My next project was the measuring cups to get them off the shelves and out of the way. My wife also didn't want to have them banging and rattling on the door as it opened and closed, so I came up with a design to hold them against the door by building racks with the heavy part on top. This required lots of measuring, cutting, and trimming small corners off so the measuring cups would sit in the slots and not rock back and forth when the door opened and closed. I painted them white to match the cabinets and decided to have some fun using a portable laser engraver from Laser Pecker to engrave the labels under the wood. I just put my design into their app, locate it on the board, set the depth, and press go. This thing is mesmerizing to watch, and you don't really need to know anything about lasers to use it. This is the LP2 model that can engrave all kinds of things like wood, leather, glass, stone, and even food. Since I was already having fun lasering stuff, I decided to make a kitchen conversion chart too that could go in the same place as the measuring cups. I tried to make it look a little nicer by adding a frame around the outside edge, but if you don't have a laser, you could just print out something kind of like this and glue it to your board before adding a frame. And hey, if the wife likes it, I'd call that a success. Next up is a spice organizer. And this is one that you could probably find on Amazon or somewhere for pretty cheap. But again, it's gonna slide around in your drawer. It's not gonna fit exactly. I would recommend getting a bunch of the same size spice jars so that you can build your organizer to that size. The pieces of this organizer are just a set of wide pieces and a set of narrow pieces that I glued together in an L shape. Then you glue or screw together all of them to make a zigzag base to your drawer. Once it was all attached together, I trimmed it to the exact length so it would fit in my drawer. I then finished it with a few coats of a rattle can spray lacquer. Make sure you have enough clearance on your jars so they don't hit the frame of the cabinet as you open and close it. Under the sink is always hard to get to, but this next project adds some pull-out drawers under there so that everything is accessible and you don't have anything sitting on the bottom. The construction of these drawers was essentially a box, but I wanted to make it strong enough that you could just pull the drawer box out without needing a handle or anything. So the front of the drawers are joined to the sides using a sliding dovetail joint. This joint sounds more difficult than it is. 
With one router bit, you route the dovetail groove into the front. Then with the same router bit, you just move the fence closer to the bit and route the drawer sides into a dovetail shape. The box sides can then just slide into the drawer front. To make both ends of the drawer boxes match, I taped them together and then cut out and sanded them at the same time. The drawers needed to be taller on one side so I could install two drawer slides on that side. The back of the drawer would never really have anyone pulling on it, so that was just a rabbit joint. The boxes both got a few coats of the same spray lacquer and a layer of wax in the bottom just for added water resistance. The installation of these drawers was pretty tight and awkward, but I really liked being able to mount the drawer slides only to the wall of the cabinet instead of needing a center divider down the middle to hold a drawer slide. This keeps it clean and leaves the bottom open in case your plumber someday ever needs to lay down in there. My last project is more to organize a work area in my kitchen. My wife likes to bake bread, and while it is always delicious, it's constantly getting moved around the kitchen, and there's crumbs all over the place, and it just kind of leaves a mess. This cutting board not only keeps the bread in one place, but it keeps the knives out of the reach of curious little hands. I ended up with a cutoff piece of black walnut butcher block from a small countertop in another place in the house, so I decided to just use this as my cutting board. After a little cleanup along the edges, I also came up with a design for a simple knife holder. I cut a slot into a piece of walnut for the blade with chamfered sides to make it easy for the knife to find the slot. The handle then rests on the dowel on either the right side or the left side. I also added some handle grooves so it would be easier to pick up and move around. The finish on this was Wood Honey from Total Boat, which is designed for cutting boards and is super easy to apply. After attaching the feet, I had to give it a try. We can all use some extra kitchen organization in our lives. Let me know what your favorite kitchen organizer is that you have in your kitchen. Now, go build something and we'll see you next time.